Hello everyone, my name is Uthers, and welcome to some Kerbal Space Program on the channel. The game is finally in its final, finally, final, it, it's, it's done. Um, um, they received kind of its last major update here recently, and so I'm excited to kind of hop into this. I haven't done like a proper playthrough of Kerbal Space Program for myself or on the channel for a very long time. And uh, this game, you know, is one of those early access uh, kind of golden stories of, of Steam. So I want to hop in here, do a playthrough, go through the tech tree, unlock everything. It's vanilla, no add-ons, no mods. Don't expect anything crazy, guys. Um, I'm not known to be the best at this sort of thing. So we're going to go ahead and start a new save, and it's going to be in career mode. Um, we're going to call it, I guess... Space services. Space services. There we go. Um, and we, oh, we get a lot more flags here. Trippy for Skippy. Okay, accept that and start. I'm just gonna do normal difficulty as we uh, figure out some things here. Now, the last time I played this, you know, getting to the moon and things were even a challenge. Um, in fact, there it is, back there in the sky. All right, thanks, I got it. So, um, I know, of course, roughly how all these buildings work, and, you know, I've, I've made some interesting missions in the past in Sandbox myself. Career, though, is something that I've yet to really ever fully finish, so let's hop into it. We'll grab some, I guess, a... which pays out more... looks like gather scientific data from Kerbin... And maybe we can launch into and leave the atmosphere on our first mission. So let's take a look here at the VAB. Um, um, we have no parts unlocked. Okay. And let's just get started on our first craft. I'm going to use the standard command module. Okay, one here. And we want a par parachute. First step, look at that. It's a beautiful modern artwork on painted on these vessels. Um, so if I go here and take a look at our total velocity that we can achieve with this one booster, um, let's not include parachute on there. Okay, how about two boosters? What's two boosters look like? How about three? So this isn't really updating our meters per second, but then again, it's not properly staged. So I doubt it will. So we might have to eyeball this a little bit. I'm gonna go with four boosters, because this is kind of the most rockety shape that I can think of. Uh, first booster, um, let's do, there's variants. Let's do an orange stripe and then a yellow stripe up here. There we go, add some color to that and we, we have some science modules that we can put on I don't want to flip these uh, I'm gonna flip these inside so they look a little bit more like maybe radiators or heat sinks sticking out rather than these giant bulbous things I want to try and make aesthetic looking things in here in this series also guys so that's kind of a requirement it, it has to look somewhat believable in the Kerbal world because trust me we have seen some crazy crazy craft um, I think I want this to last all the way to stage two here. So I think that's fine. And yeah, this this might be okay. One, two, boom, boom, boom. These are backwards. So we'll do that. All right. All right, so it's actually, it's actually picking up the the, the meters per second here. So we're gonna do 100% and maybe take it down 20% each time. Because as we burn these, we're going to lose weight. And if that's the case, then I don't need the full thrust. All right, there we go. So we're gonna have kind of a progression of thrust going through here. 
in each stage will should hopefully blow up the stage below it using just the exhaust out of the rocket all right let's uh let's take it to the launch pad and we will do our first flight we'll see if we get any proper um <laughs> proper airtime out of this oh boy let's uh, observe the mystery goo i know there's a lot of people that are really good at like even just the first mission getting a whole bunch of science i'm i'm gonna make no promises we have jebediah kerman with us and they are in the command module with basically um four stacks of highly explosive material behind them uh, to propel them into space so let's go ahead and do this don't need any sort of countdown we can just hit the space bar and off we go so this is the 100 percent thrust booster gets up to speed very very quickly okay now we have the second booster i'm going to start going sideways as much as possible here okay third booster Come on, third booster, destroy. Destroy your friend. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna go sideways. Get some gravity assist here. With us. This booster is only at 40% thrust. So it may not honestly have enough strength to uh, blow up this lower one. But it's hopefully gonna at least maintain some velocity here. I just start going a little bit sideways. Yeah, the extra weight for that long was pretty bad for our speed. So we're not going to be able to probably reach space or anything with this. In fact, if we look here, we're already almost at the top of our arc. But that's okay. That's okay because we can just take a crew report from up here. At this level, we'll go ahead and take some goo data. Awesome. We will deploy the parachute. That will take us back down to the surface. Deploy it pretty early. These things do have like max speeds um, that will actually affect when and how um, they can be deployed or if they can even even be deployed at all. So it's a good idea to deploy it when you can so that, you know, obviously if I start nose diving like this, um, we might have picked up too much speed for this parachute to uh, be workable. All right, so we're doing a little bit of a spin. Let's go ahead and stop that spin for a second. Jebediah is just enjoying the view out the window as he splashes down with his first successful flight. Boom. In the water. So we'll go ahead and recover that. Very good. Very good. So we earned 29 total science. All right. Well, if we go to the R&D building for just 10 science we can unlock the first two columns, which is basic rocketry, um, which gives us some liquid fuel rockets, which is pretty nice, um, and some additional science monitoring, so like temperature gauges. So that'll be cool. Um, what else can I unlock? I can unlock more science or stability. I'm going to get some more science here. So the way I want to do this is I don't want to cheese load anything the only time i want to do a load a save load function in this playthrough guys is if if the bug if the game glitches if the game glitches i'll load but like if i crash a rocket with someone in it i ain't reloading because it's my fault i designed it poorly if i um get someone stranded uh -uh, i'm not gonna reload i'm gonna send a mission up there to pick them up um for science i have to complete the columns in order i can't jump a tier um, for anything. So I'm going to be very completionist with my columns and uh, just kind of go through a systematic sort of playthrough. Um, okay, so we completed our first mission, which we can go ahead and pick up another one now. Um, we have the Orbit mi uh, Kerbin mission. Bunch of surveys. Surveys, uh, in my experience, have kind of always been best with like a plane um, or something that you can control a little bit easier and a little bit later. Test the swivel liquid fuel engine splash down at Kerbin. Hmm. 
I guess we can just pick up the Orbit Kerbin quest. None of those really interest me. The test quests are a little meh, uh, in my opinion. And then, uh, we'll see what we can get here. So I don't think we're going to be able to orbit Kerbin with what we have. But. So now we have the R10 hammer. And also some heat shields. So I'm going to put a little heat shield on here to help protect our command module. And we are also going to strap on. Let's make two. I like having two sets for science gathering. So I can get them at different altitudes in a single mission. And we're gonna move these kind of locally up in between these gaps. All right, and maybe even rotate this sideways. We'll be able to take uh, some some readings from these, and they're a little bit tucked in, so a little bit safer from the heat. And let's get a, I believe we unlocked coupling, so we'll get a coupler here. Awesome. Now for engines wise, um, let's see by right clicking here, how these engines perform. 197 thrust 167 so these are solid rocket boosters it looks like these are tuned for um, thrust yeah, mostly ideal I mean it's, honestly it's actually pretty good in either um, it has more thrust than the liquid swivel but I kind of want to bring a liquid engine up higher so if we do something like this, maybe change the variant to something like that, right? For, for coolness sake. And then we can do a structural coupling. Because if you think about it, if this is essentially two of those engines that we previously just used, and we just have that on top of each other, we essentially have the same amount of boosters as before. And might be able to get an orbit out of this. So uh, bottom booster, we're gonna do 80% thrust. Uh, middle booster, we're going to drop it off quite a bit and maybe do like a 55% thrust. And maybe try some bear, oh yeah, I've gotta get the orange stripes on there, lovely. So we'll do, we'll do something like this. Technically it's a bit, a little bit long, taller. Uh, the engine is a little bit heavier because we're bringing a liquid engine, but hopefully by the time we get to use it, we might be able to maybe circularize an orbit or maybe not. Um, we're gonna get some fins just on the lower stage to keep us going kind of straight at launch. And then when that kind of switches over here, um, we won't need them anymore. Hopefully just the control reaction wheels will be enough for us. We didn't gain much weight, so I don't need any other special thing, except for I'm gonna bring a draw chute. And the draw chute is awesome because that means I can uh, hopefully come in a little bit at a higher speed and use this to slow my descent. And I don't know why the control button isn't doing a fine, fine increments, but there we go. I want to get that a little bit in line. Okay, good. That's a, that's a decent design. I would say this is this is a good enough design to call it the um, uh, Skippy the, the, the Skippy Shuttle MK1. There we go. And I do want to start saving these. Um, in case I want to reuse the designs. Not that I want to reuse this one specifically, but 
um, I kind of want to also log our progression so we can come back at different times and load in our old vehicles. So the Skippy Shuttle MK1 is ready for launch here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and launch this. And hopefully get a decent amount of science out of it also. All right, Jebediah Kerman is ready for his launch two. A little bit more of a controlled launch on this one. A little, you know, about 1.25 Gs or so on that, which is fine. Definitely a more controlled ascent. Now we're really gonna be picking up speed once we uh, lose this extra bit of weight. I'm trying to go sideways a little bit. There we go. Oh no. Okay, that that was it was kind of forcing me there. So I'm gonna have to hand steer this a little bit. All right. So we lost a good chunk of weight there with the engine being discharged and the empty fuel. Go ahead and throttle up and get ready to use our liquid engine, which is gaining efficiency the higher we go from a weight to thrust standpoint. So we're at 10,000 meters. And then we are good to go, boom. I, at the very least, want to get up to space on this one. So we're going to... I'm going to try that a little bit. Flatten this out for the re-entry. For the last 200 meters a second, I'm just going to boost it at full speed. Okay. I, uh... I don't think that's gonna be quite to space. I do not think so, but we are in the upper atmosphere at least, so we're log some pressure. And I'm sure you guys in the comments are like, wow, this, this kid does not know what he's doing. He, he can't even get to space on his second shuttle run. And the answer is probably not, um, but that's fine. The, all this science that we're gathering up here is kind of all we need in a big way. So we'll speed up time. Yep, we did not escape the atmosphere, but we did make it into a new area, I think. Uh, upper atmosphere, can't keep that. Grab this. And also from the thermometer, log some pressure data. Great. All right, now we get to come crashing back down. Uh, we basically rode a almost intercontinental ballistic missile across an ocean for mission two. So Jebediah going way farther out here than last time. I don't even think we honestly needed the heat shield. Oh boy, we are cooking. There we go, drill chute deployed. That'll bring us down to a safer speed so that we can splash down. And I'll also get out an EVA and pick up maybe some water samples out here in the ocean. So we're just gonna use the drill chute until we're about, you know, a thousand meters or so. Deploy the main chute. And then just float on down. We can, I'm gonna keep the heat shield on. You can actually detach this for weight savings um, if you need to, because it does have some weight to it. Um, but I'm gonna keep it on to get some more return on investment. Um, I might also move, the, the thermometer is just a little hard to click on. I'm gonna move that down so that it's not as hard to click on. So we're gonna recover this.
And now we're at 42 total science. Awesome. If we take a look at our astronaut complex, no one's leveled up. Uh, we're going to keep using Jebediah till he does, and then we'll bring out Valentina so she can get some XP also. Mission control. Yep, we haven't reached space yet. So at this point, oh wait, let's spend our science first before making Skippy shuttle MK2 here. Uh, general rocketry might be good. We get a bigger fuel tank, and we get the thumper solid rocket fuel boosters. So that's 20 and then 18. So we have finished two columns in this first episode. It's not going to be this quick in every episode. And we're probably not going to get as many shuttles built in every episode. So keep that in mind. Um, as the missions become more and more complicated, I might end up cutting out or speed building some of these rather than recording the whole time. end up working better put it down there I do like the pressure meter though kind of where it was as it kind of breaks All right, let's try that again pressure meter back up Bloop. cool and this thing also has mono propellant which we can actually drop just now remembered that trick. We can also take these out. It's extra weight. Uh, maybe maybe we should bring a parachute in case Jebediah needs it. But he doesn't need the RCS pack. Okay. So that'll make it a little bit lighter. I don't know how much lighter. How much did the mono propellant help? Gave us about 15 extra meters a second. Did the did, the, did this actually help? It did. So we got like an extra 30 out of that. Okay. Um, if we go to engines. I like this upper stage kind of as is. Um, I'm not going to use a swivel engine for it though. Um, I don't think we need a swivel for there. But instead, what I'm going to do. Is enter us into the liquid stage. Here in a big way. And let's see if we can get some boosters on this to help out. All right, what are we at? What's, what's the problem? Mass. All right, we didn't hit part count problems. We hit a mass problem. But what if I got rid of this? Mass is a little bit better. How about this? Nope. Not good either. Maybe thumpers instead? Okay, um, that's definitely a fair amount of Delta V on here, at least. Um, both of these are gonna be limited to like, we have double engines, maybe 50%, just so they'll last longer. And so this, this might be the vessel that takes us out of the atmosphere. Okay, MK2 is good to go. Might need some wings. Actually, no, I have a swivel engine. I, I, I might not need wings, but you know, we might as well um, we just have a couple on the booster so they drop off with them. Okay, perfect. 10 out of 10, we'll save the MK2. And we will go to the launch pad. Jebediah is going to get to space this episode if I have anything to say about it. Or he might explode. <laughs> you kind of never know when it comes to this game. Okay, we'll get that and that. Go ahead and throttle up and get ready for the next stage. 
there's the moon. That is that is our first major milestone, everyone. Let's do this. And off it goes. And off it goes in the wrong direction. For anything useful. Okay, so we're gonna have to hand fly this a little bit. It is fighting us a little, but it's not that big of a deal because right now we are still relatively light in the small vessel that the reaction control wheels can kind of hang in there. Did not expect us to roll over so soon. Oh boy, that's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. I had a major torque over when those released. In fact, it's still it's still kind of drifting a little bit. Not sure why. All right, I'm gonna go try and save some fuel. We're gonna ride this speed all the way up as much as possible here. Trying to pro point prograde as much as possible. I think at this point, start rolling over. For a bit of a gravity assist. So I think we did achieve the height. I think. So we'll just keep pointing this 30 degrees. Yep. So we're not going to be able to orbit with this. If I if I was a better pilot and I and I like knew and like was really good at Carbo Space Program, I probably would have been able to orbit this craft. Honestly, if it had enough acceleration. Um, I'm just not very efficient at this yet, and I'm super rusty. But uh, we're we're gonna go all the way like a continent over or two. All right. Awesome. We will turn off SAS. We'll give the nose some separation from the rest. Let it float here for a bit. Speed up time. See if we get up to that 70,000 meters. And we do. And that's the music kicking in. So gent gentle and soft. You can see the moon a little bit better. The Milky Way. All right, let's gather some science while we're here. Awesome. So the cool thing, I don't know about if you guys know this, but like the cool thing about this sort of shape when it interacts with air is that it's going to want to stay oriented to the correct direction by itself just with the way the wind deflects off of it. So long as you kind of come in top down, obviously if I came in like completely 180 from here, um, you know, it would want to fly in more like a bullet, but this kind of soft curve and deflection will keep it kind of pointing the right way. Because what will happen is it'll try to tip over, but then the wind kind of catches it on one side and straightens it back out. So it's a very stable shape. The heat shield is heating up. And so is Jebediah, it seems. Getting a little toasty. Oof. I remember the days when atmospheric effects were a mod. Oh, those were the days. Alright, so that's coming to an end. We're gonna be landing on the dark side of the planet. Let's get the drow shoot out. Let's 
And then maybe we can just grab some data with these at this altitude. Because I don't think we have yet. There's our debris going ahead of us. Kind of crashing down into the ocean. And we'll kind of cruise on down to about a thousand meters again, just to kind of speed up the descent process. Because this this sort of thing can be a little bit boring for you guys, the viewers. That's why a lot of people in Kerbal Space Program will prefer like more of a speed sort of build episode with like voice over. Which if that's what you guys prefer, fine. Um, just know that early on it's it's going to be, you know, multiple missions. So Splash down. Success. We'll observe the goo in the water. Awesome. We even EVA. Take an EVA report. Good. Board. And we'll recover our vessel. So we made it to space. A very simple task in this game with probably an over-engineered rocket too. Uh, 75 science is our reward. Jebediah is still level one or zero. Um, so now we are getting into some more advanced science apparatus, um, flight controls so we can start building a plane and also advanced rocketry. So I'm gonna go with advanced rocketry. And I think with this, this will probably allow us to get into orbit because that engine that I just unlocked is uh, a pretty good light efficient engine for that final stage for circular light, for you know getting your orbit to go around. Um, I don't know why I'm having such a hard work time saying circularization, but I am. So, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are looking forward to some Kerbal Space Program on the channel now that it is out um, in like in its final form until Kerbal Space Program 2. And with that, go ahead and subscribe for more creative goodness such as this. Hit that like button, and we'll see you all in the next episode.